Hey guys, it's Donna Wombat here, and in the video today, we're going to be looking at how to get the Black Spindle Exotic Sniper Rifle. The Black Spindle is a really high impact sniper rifle and has the exact same perks and a very similar look to the Black Hammer Sniper Rifle, which is a drop from the Crota's End Raid. It has only become available within the last day, with the Daily Heroic Story Mission being Lost to the Light. It's an amazing sniper, and I'd recommend that you try and get this bad boy. If this video helps you out, then remember to leave a like rating. So the Lost to the Light mission requires you to head deep down inside of the moon and return to the scene where you destroyed Crota's soul in the Dark Below story missions and retrieve a piece of his soul to use. Basically, you should progress in the mission until you kill the ogre, grab his soul and are forced to flee for your lives. Here is where you need to pay a little bit of attention if you want to grab the Black Spindle. Using Tomb Husks, you should open the first two doors. When you come to the room with the third door you would usually open, you simply run straight through that room and up the pathway that you would take if you are doing the Tannic Strike. I run this route straight right at the start of this video, so if you need to recap then just check there. Once your entire fire team has been teleported up and you walk through the first door, a timer will start and basically from there it's a mad rush to kill all of the Taken that you can for the next 10 minutes. I'm going to let the video play out and each time I enter a new location, I'm going to talk through the tactics my team used to successfully get through. At all times, you should remember that this is a race against the clock and that time is very much against you. You're going to need every little second you can get. Oh wow, rip. Fuck. Actually, I'm done, bro. It's fuck. Yeah, I'm up in two. So the first major room is a room where would normally be the Devil Walker in the Tannic Strike. Here there are three yellow health bar wizards with pretty tough purple shields and some annoying snipers sitting up above you. Uh, we pretty successfully used the Night Stalker's tether and it was a great way to take down these wizards fast and shotguns and swords were pretty good as well because they're really high damage per second weapons and they were, you know, really easy to take down those wizards whilst they were tethered. Uh, they keep spawning thralls, these wizards, wizards, whilst they're alive, so it's probably important that you take them down as quickly as possible and try and focus on them first. Uh, once the wizards are down, make sure to take out the snipers. They can be pretty annoying because they keep throwing up those bubbles, so you, sometimes you're going to have to get up close and personal with them with the shotgun. There's one in the mid behind us, or is she, is she in here? Oh yeah. That's alright, I got mine again. Okay, she's down. Yeah, I'll just take this bitch's shield down and let's just fuck her. Or that'll just fuck her anyway. Okay. I'll get him. Yeah, I got this one. Yep, sweet, let's roll. I got a tether, I got a first tether. Oh, I'm black. Black, don't die. Fucking wake up. The final boss battle room is just a hectic mess. 
It's one of the hardest things that there is in the Taken King at the moment. It probably took my team of 300 plus light, really experienced guardians, five or six tries before we made it. So don't expect to get this on the first go. We focus mainly on two things in this room, taking down the big black spawn orbs and getting as much damage on the boss as quickly as possible. We would basically tether the boss so we took a lot more damage and then just get up and close and personal and do as much damage as we could before we died. After three or four runs of this, the boss was dead. We tried other methods, you know, clearing out all the enemies, but they just keep respawning. Sniping uh, him from like the doorway whilst being tethered, but we just couldn't get enough damage on him uh, before the time ran out. None of the other ones we tried as well were successful. This was the only way we could get enough damage and kill him quick enough and still be able to clear out all of the other enemies from the room. Because once you kill the boss, it's not over. And all those enemies just seem like they just continue spawning and spawning. We killed the boss a couple of times and weren't able to kill all the enemies. Titan Hammer and Warlock Lightning are amazing for clearing rooms of, uh, you know, pretty weak enemies. So it might be a good idea to put one of those in your fire team. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is really hard, and like I said, you probably won't get this on the first go, but stick at it, and you will be the proud owner of a new Black Spindle Exotic Sniper, and this bad boy hits hard. You really want this gun. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know how you guys go down in the comments below, and if you've enjoyed this video and it helps you out, then make sure to leave a like rating. Uh, subscribe to see more videos from me. I've been Wombat, and I'll see you guys later. Tethered, tethered. Fuck me, there's so many other sh so much other shit there, dude. Go, Ross. Get that fuck off. Ted is gone. Don't worry about it, we're getting good damage, just relax. Yeah, I got a I got heavy, so. Uh Ah uh, yeah, he's up on his platform. No, how can you it's so annoying that it doesn't like stun him when he's tethered. Getting good damage on him though. We still got, still got like three minutes, three and a half minutes. So. No, no, ten seconds. Ah, uh, there's another orb. Is anyone going to tether? He's just around the back of his platform. Okay, I got a tether. You guys ready? Okay, I got a tether. I'm getting fucked by everything. Where did he go? Yeah. Nice, we nearly got him. Yeah, we got him. Try to get out if you can. Try to get out if you can. It's alright.
Nah, yo, yeah, well, there's fucking scions, dude. Those are not scions. Yeah. It's just that uh, there's one orb in that back right hand corner with a yellow cap, a uh, red shield, a couple of red shield captains near it. Sort of like where my orb is. There's a couple of red shield, like shielded ones, and those look like the last two. Common skills don't res up. Dude, they just keep spawning. What? What the? Surely, surely. Yes. Oh, that is fucked, dude. That is fucked. Why is that so hard?